What's up guys? It's me Trim LB and I'm back with another video about UFC 203 CM Punk debut. So what you guys should know is that about the fight week he's been joking around with the media saying he has trouble uh, yeah, with different kinds of stuff. That is just uh, to mess with them. So, what he wants to do is to do the ultimate surprise. So, you saw in uh, the uh, open workouts that he did not do any stand-up at all. That means only one thing. He might surprise you. So he has been training uh, MMA for two years. And um, injuries been delaying him and all that. And <coughs> now it's time. Right now I'm gonna watch uh, the pre-fight press conference to uh, UFC 203 and in the fight of CM Punk he is an underdog uh, let's see let's see here 3.95 to 125, which is a big gap. Uh, this is gonna be hell of a fight. Oh, CB Dalloway is fighting too. All right then. Um, so. What you need to know is that um, how Mickey Gall um, got to fight CM Punk is through the uh, show called Looking for a Fight. It is about Dana White going from uh, city to city looking for fighters to sort of recruit to the UFC um, and that is a pretty good way of discovering uh, hidden fighters so to speak um, so I can't wait uh, for the fight it's gonna be epic, for sure. I've been a fan of punk since the wrestling days, of course. Uh, I am a very open-minded person. That's why I don't uh, talk smack about him and all that. Like, yes, I get it. He is in a, in a whole different type of sport and work but I'm happy for him because he is more happy doing MMA instead of pro wrestling get that straight so I hope you guys enjoy the show of UFC 203 um 10th of September Catch it. It's gonna be epic um, Headliner is Stipe Miocic versus Overeem There I picked uh, Overeem to win Then co-main is Fabrizio Verdum versus Travis Brown there I go with Brown, and then 
CM Punk versus Mickey Gall. Then, of course, I I rooting for the ultimate underdog, CM Punk. <laughs> 